Hello everybody, this is Mr. Monocle and I'm going to be starting my playthrough of Sonic the Hedgehog 2. The reason why I want to play this one in particular and not something like Sonic Colors or one of the what the ones from the later generation is because we all, well most of us know that um, the earlier Sonic games were, were really the best. They are lots of things to discover, they weren't necessarily about just trying to rush through a stage and they were basically lots of fun and also a great challenge so that's why I wanted to play this one and, and not one of the other ones. So let's start and see how it goes. As any Sonic fan would know, Emerald Hill Zone must come first. We need the shield. We will need that shield. Something I'd also, also like to mention there is that Tails, for no reason, he, no matter how many times he gets a coconut to the face, gets impaled with spikes, ow, or, or anything that gets thrown at him, he will not die. He is literally invincible. Surely he must be better than. Ah, damn it. Better than Sonic. Because he just cannot die, so you can sort of ho hope that he throws himself at some bosses and does all the legwork for you. And I think if you get a certain amount of rings, like 40, and reach a checkpoint, you might be able to go to the, uh. Um, uh. Sort of the mini game thing where you, tr where you try to get the Chaos Emblem. And if you get all seven, you turn into Super Sonic and you're invincible. But I found that you, it's a lot, it's very difficult to um, actually get all seven before actually getting to the final bosses and the final areas where it's already too late. So I probably won't bother with that. Another thing is that if you complete a stage and get 10,000 points or more, then you'll get a continue. We need. Well, so I need those continues because this. Ah, oh God, dude, this isn't an easy game. You must have a ring at times. You know, scrap what I said at the start about not going fast. I'm. I just got to run fast. Anybody who plays Sonic knows that running fast is fun. And then the famous loop. There's got to be at least a few loops in any Sonic game. But I have to say, in the later generation games like uh, Sonic Colors and Sonic 06, or well, we all know how bad Sonic 06 is, but the loops feel a lot more, you know, out of place there. Then, oh, we should, as if Sega was just saying, oh, we should put these in just, you know, as a nostalgia effect. But, you know, they feel a lot more in place here as much as having random loops carved into the ground you know, can be. Also another thing is that Dr. Robotnik, he is just fantastic. He is probably my favourite video game villain in, well busy, just my favourite. You do not get a better moustache anywhere. And despite having an IQ apparently of 300, he is a bit thick. I mean, he builds these great big machines, and he's like, "Ooh, there's a glowing part. I don't want you to hit that." Well, we've got through. Ah, uh, no. Ah, there we go. Well, we've got through the first zone without, well, having a casualty or death. So that's good so far. Chemical plant zone. Oh no. Uh. The thing I don't like about this zone is the rising water. And I'm pretty sure there's a certain part and I think I think in the second act where the water's rising and it's a very high chance of drowning. And it's just this horrible. <laughs> I don't mean the actual thing's horrible, I mean it's just difficult. Okay, that part wasn't really necessary. But you know, you can't blame Sega. At least in this time period. 
what were you thinking with Sonic 06, you sods? Right, they are now sods. They knew what they were doing here. So, that's good. Very, very good. I wonder what this blue liquid actually is. Look, it looks sort of like the goo that you get in Portal 2. You know, the repulsion gel which you can just bounce off. Uh, I need a 10,000 points. Never mind. Uh, these starfishes are just... Uh. Also, what sort of plan does Dr. Robotnik have? He's basically turned a bunch of animals into robots. I mean, I'm not too sure what sort of evil plan that is. But, you know... Uh, as long as he has... That awesome mustache, his argument is valid. If I remember correctly, I think in some zone, I, I can't quite remember the name, I think it might have been something like Crystal Hill or the, the one, the place which looks all like a crystal cave. There, there is a part where you can just fall down to your doom and there's just a pit of spikes which you can't get out of. See, if you went and got all seven Chaos Emeralds and turned it into Supersonic, and you were stuck there, you'd have to wait until that, t that timer reached ten minutes. And that, was that would just be an agonizing wait. Now I just want to make sure that I get past this part without getting myself crushed. Because before this, uh, before this playthrough, I actually actually started this playthrough, but I had the audio recording, but not the actual footage, and I got crushed three times in just the Green Hill Zone. So it's going a lot better here. I think that was the part which I was saying before about, you know, the water rising up on you. Yeah. Gotta be careful. Well, Tails can drown, but he'll always come back. Something about him. See, this is a trap. You know, thanks, Sega, for trying to troll us. Come out, Miyagi. Whoa, tail, Roy. Oh god. My god, those platforms were there. Why would have died already? That wasn't so hard. It's the later levels which get a lot more difficult. I think Dr. Eggman really has something against animals. I mean, you know, why is he trying to capture all these? Is it like one day he he went over to his friend's house and had a cat bite him and he was like, you know what, I'm just gonna capture these things. Oh god. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's a spike trap, so I'll just run. That's better, thanks to Oh god! No! Uh, any, you know, Nintendo or Sega fan or whatever will know that water levels are just an absolute atrocity. They are just the worst. And in our games, drowning is just... Oh dear. Oh um, no, no, no. That's right, I'm gonna be a selfish sword. You can just die, Tail. Just die. Yeah. Right, I think I'm gonna have to um, just end this here. So, yeah, we're kind of running out of time. So, we'll see. We'll carry on from that in the next episode.